going on guys welcome back to the youtube channel and today we are building the f4u corsair by flight test yes now this is actually a pretty big version um they, ha they do have the mini version this is the actual regular version you would have to build this with the b pack or the c pack motor um CPAC motor just gives you basically more power and if you just want to fly real nice and docile and gently you would just want to use a BPAC motor basically you need a 10 4 7 prop with this you need four nine gram servos and uh, basically a 2200 milliamp battery um with that being said it's a intermediate build it's not too hard it's not too easy but at the same time you're going to be doing a lot of folding in this you're going to see a lot of folding because of the foil in the wing um let me see what else other than that guys we're ready to get back into the video let's get it guys what's up we are all done with the build let's see what we got here and this is what we came up with all right i love the flight test planes they're just so they're so i don't know they're so cartoony looking sometimes i think that's why i really like them so now this is the cpac motor I, i'm actually using a 10-6 prop on this have 
nine gram servos for them these are actually they're not the flight test servos these are just from regular amazon i will leave a link in the description so where you guys can get these bottom hatch i actually cut this hatch right here you don't have to um but i actually did because i wanted to put a magnet right here so you could clip on just like so you hear that okay just like that and it won't come off so all your power go in there everything that you need is right in there your esc right here a little brain in there receiver esc it's basically everything. Let me see. Yeah, my ESCs are right here, guys. All right. So, out of one to on a scale from one through ten, I actually would give this build. Uh, I would say an eight. It's not really too hard. Um, the only thing I do think that it was challenging. The only thing I can say it was challenging was the rudder and the aileron. It's kinda, it wasn't too hard to get it right in the middle, but that was just basically the most challenging part. You always wanna leave all this, with this plane, you wanna leave everything in the tail section for last, because you always wanna make sure it's nice and straight and vertical with your front wing. Cause I had this problem the first time I built this plane and it was very, very bad. It will probably won't even fly at all. Um. So yeah, guys, it's it's pretty it's, it's pretty big size, guys. Um, other than that, guys, I think I'm gonna basically put um make my order some retracts for this because I really like flying airplanes with landing gear. Um, what I do have though is lights. I am going to install lights in this, and I will actually I might not have it installed by the maiden, um, just because I want to make sure that if it's perfect with no problem before I paint it and put lights in there um that's basically it guys so I do recommend this for anybody that's in, in an intermediate level it's a very very good plane it's very fun to fly as well especially on the CPAC has very power very much power you can actually do inverted as well as with this plane very good um other than that guys we are ready for the maiden flight. I'll see you guys in the maiden. All right, guys. So we're doing the maiden flight of the F4U Corsair by flight test today. Hopefully, cross my fingers today, it flies. Let's see. This is my second attempt, honestly, because I built this plane about three months ago. So hopefully, it flies. Let me give it some up turn.
coming in for a landing. That was a good maintenance to be honest. Perfect rating, guys. Alright, I'll see you guys in the new video, man. Alright, guys, that about wraps it up for today's video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. And please don't forget to smash the like buttons and hit the subscribe button for YouTube to recommend you guys more videos like mine. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy.